When someone is arrested on a misdemeanor drug charge in Baltimore City, the drug goes to a police laboratory to make sure it's an illegal substance and the prosecution can begin. But in the past year, the city's public defender's office has noticed a significant backlog at the lab. Results are not ready for trial. Prosecutors have been asking for postponements. Judges frequently had been granting them, um, which means that if our client's incarcerated, they remain incarcerated. Lately, however, public defender Natalie Finnegar says judges are throwing cases out due to the delay. It's the norm not to have an analysis on the first trial date, where it used to be the exception. Even as drug arrests overall in the city have been in a sharp decline. It's a problem that, that we're aware of and we're determined to fix. Police Commissioner Kevin Davis blames the backlog on new state requirements for accredited police labs. It takes longer to examine drugs than it used to, one, and then two, the, the drugs are more complex than they used to be, particularly synthetic marijuana and then the mixture of heroin and fentanyl. The commissioner also says three years ago, fentanyl made up 0.03% of all drug analysis cases in Baltimore. Now he says it is 8%. That's up 27,000%. Yes, I can understand that if you have an increase in the number of analysis that you have to run, that changes how you do your operations. If I have an increase in the number of cases that I have to have prepared for trial, it changes my operations. But nonetheless, you have to be ready in the criminal justice system in the time frames that we've been given. Commissioner Davis says he's working on hiring more lab workers. Meanwhile, because of this crime lab backup, the district court schedule is changing. Tonight we confirm that in two weeks, uh, defendants who um, defendants are released on their own recognizance. Those defendants will have their trial set six weeks after the day of their arrest, not the customary four weeks. The public defender's office says it was not notified of this change and was not involved in the discussions. We're live downtown George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News.